everybody. This is Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to do a post and kind of break up uh, the current theme that's been going on on my blog. Uh, for those of you that keep up on my blog, or for those of you that may have just happened to come upon my blog, if you'll notice the last few posts uh, have really been involved around hammocks or items used while hammock camping. I'm not knocking hammocks or hammock camping at all. Uh, I'm still really enjoying it, and actually I'll be sleeping outside tonight with my hammock uh, using my new hammock gear under a quilt. But I just kind of wanted to do a different video uh, and just kind of change up the theme a little bit. Um, so what I want to talk about today is wind jackets. Um, I want to say that for a while now I've noticed a lot of people talking about wind jackets and how they like uh, wind jackets. Um, in my opinion, when I first thought about them, and still kind of a little bit, I haven't really completely changed my thought process yet, but I always kind of thought that a wind jacket was a bit redundant. Uh, meaning that I'm typically I'm going to have my uh, hard shell jacket with me whenever I go out backpacking, and my hard shell will cut wind just like a wind jacket will, except it'll also shed water and keep me dry. Whereas with a wind jacket, it might be water resistant, but it's not going to 100% keep me dry. Um, so I, I was always kind of up in the air about it, but after reading enough reviews, raves, and just how much people like wind jackets, I thought that, you know, what the heck, I'll go ahead and I'll try one out. You know, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, hey, I don't like it, and I'll, you know, at least I'll know it. Um, so when it came down to it, there were three wind jackets that I was really looking at. Um, there was the Stoic Wraith, which is, it's been introduced a couple of months ago, but there for a while it was uh, one of the newer ones. Uh, there was a North Face Verto jacket that I was looking at, and then there's the Patagonia, Patagonia Houdini. Now, backpacking light, if you go over there and ask about wind jackets, pretty much everybody's going to tell you Patagonia Houdini, so I'm sure that it's a very, uh, a very well, uh, or a very good choice. Uh, not to mention all the Patagonia items that I have, I've been really happy with them. I have an R1, and it's one of those items that uh, if anything ever happens to it, it's going to be replaced. Um, and then, like I said, the North Face Verto. Uh, one thing that I saw the North Face, North Face Verto had over the Houdini was that it's a lighter weight, uh, listic weight, and as well, it's a little bit less cash. Um, and then the last one, the Stoic Wraith, it's actually lighter, listed lighter than the uh, than either of the previous two, and it's uh, less expensive. The Wraith is $69. Uh, listed at 2.6 ounces. The Verto is $99, listed at 3.2 ounces, and the Houdini is $125, and I think it's listed at 4.1 ounces, somewhere around there. Long story short, I ended up going with the Verto, the North Face Verto, and that's what I have here. So I just want to talk about, uh, show you some of the features, and show you how it fits me. Now I will say before I uh, open it up and get into it, um, I'm always being kind of my size, I guess. I'm either too large for a large or too small for an extra large. I'm kind of right there in that little gap. Uh, so sometimes I have problems. Uh, I would get a large and it might be too small or I get an extra large and it just fits me like it's, you know, swallowed me up. Uh, so I did a little research and review. I read some uh, reviews, looked at a bunch of pictures and uh, what I come up with was the Verto looked like it was a baggy fit. So I went out on a limb and I ordered a large. Um, thinking that also one of my main times for using this is going to be in the summertime. I'm thinking that in the summertime I can maybe get away with carrying this instead of my hard shell and I could save a half a pound there. Um, so, um, so I ended up going with the large. Now I will say these are offered in three different colors. This is the Taxi Cat Yellow I believe is the color they call it, which to me it looks more orange. Uh, and then there's a North Face Red or something and then a black. Um, but anyway, uh, one thing about the uh, one thing about this, the material that it's made out of is a very lightweight and wispy material. Um, it's made out of seven denier Pertex Quantum, uh, which is a nylon mi uh, micro ripstop. It's a very wispy, wispy light material that it's made out of. Uh, as far as features on this, since it is a wind jacket and they're trying to cut features. Uh, there's very few features uh, involved. Basically, uh, there's a zipper, there's a pocket that it fits into, which is this here. This is its own stuff sack. And then it does have a hood. Um, so, uh, I'll break it out in just a second, but what I want to say real quick is 
Um, this size here, it measures four inches wide, five inches tall, and two inches thick. So that gives you an idea of pack size, but this thing will go down smaller if you need it to. So it'll fit in a lot of places. Also, it does have this little loop, elasticized loop here, so that if you prefer to hang it outside your pack or on your belt loop or something for easy access, you can do that. I'm thinking about cutting it off just to see if it saves any weight. Uh, also, speeding away, uh, this is a size large, like I said, and when I put it on my scales, uh, I end up with 2.9 ounces is what I end up with. So, with all that out of the way, I just want to, uh, I'm going to pull it out of the stuff sack. I'm going to put it on to show you how well a large fits me, and then I'm going to also put on my Montbell Ultralight Down Inner Parka, and then put this over just so you'll have an idea of how well it layers. Um, so let's see here. Now this thing, like I said, it does have a hood. Okay. So like I said, this is a size large. I'll go ahead and zip it up here. Okay. Now a few things about the jacket. Uh, it does have an elasticized hem. You can see how the hem fits. Uh, just for reference, I'm wearing a size 36 pants. This is a large jacket. And you can see how much room there is there. It has elasticized wrist cuffs. Um, I've always been kind of iffy about those because typically on most of the elasticized wrist cuffs, wrist cuffs, they're a little too big. And that's the same way that these are. Of course, they don't fit in my wrist snugly. But I guess when it comes to stuff like this, you have to make them big enough so that everybody can fit in them. Maybe I just have small wrist. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it does have elasticized hems and a wrist cuffs. And then as well, on the hood, it has an elasticized, that's elasticized around the uh, side of the hood here so that it kind of fits around your face. Now this one's it fits a little loose around my face. Uh, maybe if I was to wear a hat, it would work a little bit better. But I've got to be honest, this hood is really comfortable. Uh, if you can see around the back here, it's sewn around the back right here. And really this thing is sewn so that it kind of fits around my head and it kind of almost cradles my head kind of like a boggin does. Um, so it makes it fit really comfortable and it makes, uh, it also makes uh, the way it's sewn, the way it's made, it also makes it to where it's easy, it stays in place easy. You know, the wind doesn't blow it around, doesn't blow it off my head or anything like that, considering it's so whiskey light. So, um, another one thing I want to point out real quick is I really like the length of the sleeves. They stay where they're supposed to, because um, I was worried about since I ordered large, I was worried they'd be too short. But I can reach my arms out and you can see the sleeves stay at my wrist the whole time. I can bend my elbows, it stays the same way, so I'd imagine these are articulated. Um, you know, if I raise them up, they'll slide down just a little bit just because my, uh, the wrist uh, hems, or the uh, wrist, this part, is uh, kind of loose, so it will slide down my arm just a little bit. Um, another thing I want to say real quick about the uh, elastic in the hems around the, the waist and the wrist, um, the elastic is, it doesn't have a whole lot of stretch to it. Um, I mean, it, it's really not much of a stretch at all. Uh, it's just enough of a stretch, I think, to be called elasticized. Um, but I don't really see any problem with it. Um, so anyway, uh, that's about it. I will say real quick before I take it off, I have worn this thing uh, out in the rain uh, a few times. And while the material I found doesn't really let water through, uh, since it is so wispy light, whenever it gets wet, um, it does sort of wet out just a little bit, and it, it clings to your skin. Um, other than that, um, around the seams where this thing is sewn together, water will come through because it is not taped uh, like a hard shell is because this is a windshield. It's meant to breathe a little bit. Um, so, um, so it's not 100% waterproof. Um, and like I said too, I'm thinking about using this um, in place of my hard shell during the summers. Um, whenever, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if I get a little bit wet. Um, and by doing that, like I say this thing weighs 2.9 ounces. My current rain jacket uh, that I carry weighs 10.8 uh, ounces. So I'll save plenty of weight there. 
And real quick, I just want to show you how it fits over uh, this jacket here. This is a Montbell Ultralight Down in her parka. Um, one other thing too I want to say about the zippers on the Verto is their reverse coil zippers. I'm not really sure what the big deal about that is. I just wanted to throw it out there. But uh, basically all that means is typically on your jackets, like on my Montbell jacket, the teeth of the zipper are on the outside. On the, uh, the Verto jacket, the teeth are on the inside. So I, I'm not really sure why they did that or if it has any uh, specific purpose. It might just be for a look thing, I don't know. But anyway, so there's my Verto over my uh, down jacket. You can see uh, it really fits, it layers over it perfectly almost in my opinion. I don't, it may look like it, but I don't feel like this is really compressing my down. There is a little bit of room left in there still. So still fits me well, um, but like I say, I don't think that I'll be carrying this if I'm planning on wearing a down jacket because then I'll have my hard shell. Um, so anyway, that's the uh, North Face Verto uh, wing jacket. If you have any questions or comments about this jacket, just uh, leave them at the bottom of the post and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer them. And until then, I appreciate you for watching. We'll see you next time.